guys so late late last night i got um, some alleged information about Danny, and I say the word allegedly for the slow people in the back. The one percent is like, like to plant seeds, and they don't hear at the beginning of this video because I'm a seasoned commentary channel. I've been doing this since 2017, and you have to use the word allegedly, or in my opinion, or basically you need to hear it from the horse's mouth. And most importantly, you need to do your due diligence when you get allegations like we're about to discuss right now. So allegedly, Danny was bailed out by Queen Op. Um, have no fear because this morning I will be calling where Danji, like I said Danji, um, Danny could allegedly still be at, okay? And I'm going to see if she got bailed out. Remember, she was on probation so the terms of her probation could be um she could have got um well she violated her probation i mean that's that's one thing we don't have to guess about but she could have got surrendered she might have to do 30 days 40 days i don't know a couple of months or she could have got out on her own recordness and we also can factor in that sometimes courts don't update their systems with the ladies information um that we sometimes need to know you have to call the clerk's office and sometimes it could be in their systems and it hasn't been entered in the system of uh you know uh that she got bailed out and how much the bill was and so forth so today i will be calling where danny could still be at and i'm gonna call the courthouse clerk's office you guys need to keep these commentary channels accountable when they come out their mouth and they're not saying at the beginning of the um video the word allegedly and they're saying well i heard but i don't know if it's true but you know like for an example there's a there's a, a person that i use um for a reliable source but i do my due diligence afterwards and make sure that that source is what it is but they were going over that they heard that uh, Queen Ops bill was $75, but they should have went and called like I called to fact check it. And they also should have um, looked up the docket number and seen if there was any updates because on the second page, it clearly says $75. So this person, I can already see is not seasoned. I understand we're trying to get our coins, but you can't get up here with seasoned veterans you know, you're messing with the big dogs and you're talking like what you're starting smoke because you're not even knowing yourself if this is true. You're just giving your opinion and you're starting smoke and people are trolling people who are doing their due diligence like myself and they're not even fact checking. So you need to check these people. They need to put allegedly, um, you know, when, when they want to question something that maybe another commentary channel said that they don't know whether or not it sounds right to them. You know, there's a lot of, you know, petty stuff being um, pointed out like, oh, I don't believe that that is a Queen Ops page. Um, I think that's a fan page. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? What does that have to do with the serious charges that Queen Ops is facing right now um for what she did to shelly nothing at all it doesn't hold any weight we know that queen op is a troll she has plenty of troll page pages because she's always getting blocked on social media for her behavior for what she does to shelly but um i'm gonna keep you guys posted like i said about danny you know it could be um the right information that she did in fact get bailed out and by Queen, and if she did, uh, Queen has already made it clear on social media she is going to stay with Danny. I don't think that Queen could be alone. She's not trying to do all this trolling by herself, and she's going to be the type of person to always want to put somebody front and center um, to do her dirty work. So, you know, if whether or not Shelly's back, she's going to have to have somebody around. So when she does what she does, she can put them front and center to help take the blame or take the blame. So, um, 
you know, like I said, right now it's allegedly. We don't know for sure if Danny's out, but if Danny's out and Shelly is in fact um with them, it's a bad hit. Cuz I feel as though Queen Op, she stops what she's doing until the smoke clears and then it goes right back to DV for Shelly. Shelly needs to see things for what it is. You know, they're allegedly saying there's a video that will come out before this one that Shelly is the one that bailed her out. That's allegedly as well. But I just want to share the information on um, what's swarming around, um, you know, social media about uh, who bailed who out and them being together, the three musketeers, the three stoogens, um, and, you know, what to expect. Right now, I think that Queen Op's going to lay low because she might have stipulations. We'll find out when I call the clerk's office today. But even if she doesn't have any stipulations, she's probably afraid that people will mass, um, you know, dox her and get her in trouble. So she's probably trying to lay low as far as going on any uh, other, you know, apps and trying to make a bag. That's why I think she gravitated more so to the OnlyFans fan. So she could make some coins over there. We'll see how it plays out. She hasn't been active on OnlyFans, fans. But that one time when she was promoting that she was going to put some new videos up. Um, so we know that she is in the background trolling. But I think that she's trying to keep a low profile. Because she has some serious charges uh, up against her. And I don't think she wants to go back to jail before she has that baby. She's about to have that baby in like 30 days. So I think that she would rather have that baby out of jail than in jail. They have to go back, what is it, August 4th, back to um, court. And um, I don't know. Uh, Queen could go back to court and they might take her into custody. Who knows? Um, it's just a hearing. If they take it all the way to trial, I would think that Queen Op would probably plea out. Um, that would be her best bet because there's too many videos, too many people around the United States reporting DV on Shelly. So she definitely would lose that case. Um, so that would be her best bet. And the same thing would go for Danny, too, is the plea out. So we'll see how this plays out. I will update you once I call the court. And also where Danny allegedly could be still um, held. 